And there are some congratulations rolling in. Just a minute ago, uh, Prime Minister of Canada, Justin Trudeau, sent out his congratulations. There's also been messages uh, from the UK Prime Minister, Theresa May, and I believe the Prime Minister of India as well. That's right. Yeah. Right now, Amanda Rouse is taking a closer look at this historic election. Amanda? Well, Tim and Erica, we are joined by Tess Marchant Shapiro, Associate Professor of Political Science at Southern Connecticut State University. She has been up all night monitoring this election, so we really appreciate you being here on very little sleep. No problem. <laughs> First, let's take a look at this electoral map. We saw that Donald Trump won in a lot of those battleground states. You know, we just mentioned the numbers just moments ago. But everybody seemed surprised that he won. The polls weren't showing that he was going to win. In fact, many of them showed Hillary Clinton with a lead. I guess, why was it so surprising for people waking up and hearing the news this morning? One of the things that happened this year is that we learned the lesson last time that we needed to look at the electoral count and not just look at the percent. And so um, most of the projections that were coming into this election were actually averaging a lot of surveys into them, which meant that the surveys from early in October were were averaged in with the surveys last week, the first week of November. Okay. And the, the exit polls indicated that a lot of Trump supporters made up their minds in that last two weeks of the election. Those last few weeks, and it really does come down to even like the last few hours when it goes comes to voters going to the polls. And, and, and they have to make up the, their mind. Right. Yeah. Let's talk about what we heard from Donald Trump. He made his victory speech a little after 3 a.m. That was, as Erica and Tim said, after Hillary Clinton called and conceded the race. We heard him talk with, you know, a kind of a sentiment of gratitude, and he was very calm and understated, which was a little bit different than what we've heard from him normally out on the campaign trail. And very gracious. Gracious, right. Great Whichever word. candidate went, won had to unify the country. One of the roles of the president is to be the head of state, the head of the entire country. And so whichever candidate had won needed to unify the, the two sides of the country together. And that speech certainly was a good beginning for him unifying the country. Now, that's going to be a, a great challenge, that bringing everyone together. We've heard that President Obama is actually going to be speaking a little bit later on this morning, talking about trying to get everyone together af after that divisive campaign. Donald Trump has a Republican Congress now that's working with him. So how much does he have to unite people when it seems that Republicans are, are holding the weight here? Except in the general election, the Republicans were not really united. And, and historically, having a unified government where you have the same party and the president and the House and the Senate doesn't guarantee that the president will get his way. And, and certainly in this case, the the Congress has not been 100% behind the Republican nominee. So we'll see what happens with that. I think it is going to be a wait and see and see how he can bridge that gap between some of the critics that he has. One other thing that we are hearing is that a lot of world leaders are weighing in, offering congratulations. Where do things stand with these world leaders and how they look now at our country? They have to work with President can I say it? President Trump. Yeah, President Trump. Uh, and so they, they need to congratulate him and they need to build a relationship with him. I know many of them were nervous in the stock markets over the, the night were right. falling, but, but somehow we need to work together. All right. Tess, thank you so much for being here. We really appreciate it. Tim and Erica, we'll head back over to you.